Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. Today, I'm going to be going through Dribble 2 Overhaul, and honestly, I'm just going to go through it and just have a good time and smash it. This is something I wanted to do for a while now, and I just kind of figured it'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, so I just figured this might be a fun little way to show off my skills. And yeah, so let's do this workshop map. Alright, you guys, so we are in the map, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to get started. So, um, anyways, I... I, as I'm gonna go through the level here, I'm gonna go through these levels and I'm just gonna, you know, talk as I play here because why not? I can. But anyways, so I I love this map. Like air dribble challenge. No, this isn't your air dribble challenge. This is the dribble two overhaul. So dribble two overhaul is easily easily one of my favorite maps. Like it's it's one of the first maps I played. Like for at least for the dribble challenges. But but this is really for the most part one of the first maps that I played and honestly like this has been one of the greatest maps I have ever touched if I'm just being honest because this is this this map gave me like so many skills that I would never have gotten normally had I not played it you know anyway so like right here I'm learning how to slow the ball down honestly just really good for getting down your ball control let's go here a little ramp you know so honestly, this map, like overall, is just a great introduction, in my opinion, to getting your dribbling skills down. Because, you know, it's the first one that I ever played. I have played it a few years ago. But, you know, I just played it over the years, you know. And eventually I did beat it for the first time. I was like, ooh, okay, this map's really hard. You know? But anyways, so... My point I'm getting at here is I played this map a lot. And the first time I wanted to beat the map, you know, when I first loaded up, it took me it took me a really long time. It took me like four or five hours. Actually I think it's a lot. I actually think it took me one to two days. Maybe even three days of just like practicing and going through the levels before I kinda got it figured out, you know. But eventually I did beat it for the first time. Oh shoot. Oh my bad. But yeah, so eventually I did beat it for the first time, and I was like, wow, that was awesome. But I like the map so much, and I really wanted to get good at it, that I just kept playing it. And, you know, eventually, over time, I just got faster at it, and I got better at dribbling, and my times got better, and the levels got easier. Sorry, just go ahead and focusing up here. Nice. Little flick. Good stuff. This one. Oh, I remember the wall. The wall is fun. So I can either backflip over it or you can... I mean, there's, there's multiple ways you can beat this level, but I kind of... I always like to do the backflip. I always thought that was kind of fun. Although I don't really know how I would do it now. I'll probably get more underneath the middle of the ball. Like that? Yeah, there we go. Ah, no, I missed the, the catch. Yeah, I always love doing it that way. You can like either do the backflip or you can do a, a radio flick. I want to do whatever you want, but this is kind of the funnest way to do it. Nice. Good, good catch. Cheeky little double jump pump. Nice. Cool. Alright, we got a little air dribble. This one, I remember spending a lot of time on this level at first because it was quite difficult. You know, that concept of trying to air dribble it up and then, you know, back down yourself to where you would be under the ball again. You can catch it. Anyway, so this is this was a really good introduction to like dribbles and catches. So like first of all, learning your first touches and that type of thing. And then also just like these right here, like catching this ball from such a high high up, like that's really hard to do. And that took me a lot of practice to get good at. But yeah, just having the skill to push the ball up, you know, take a cheeky couple air dribble touches and you know, get a nice catch like that. And it took a lot of time for me to get it done. And here it can be a little. Uh, Okay, I messed it up. Well, anyways, don't don't mind me. I tried to do a 360 dribble right there. Um, don't don't ask me why. I just did because I thought that'd be fun. But I'm realizing I'm not warmed up to do that right now, so not worry about it. Ooh, tough catch. Nice. There we go. Good, good, good. So honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of overdoing it. Like I'm making it probably look a lot harder than it actually is. But honestly, just having really solid fundamentals with your you know your dribbling skills, so just holding the ball in your car like this. Your ability to catch it when it falls to the floor. You know, all the really good stuff. And it's honestly all the, the things that this map taught me. And honestly, just things that, you know, I maybe didn't appreciate 
the first time I picked them up, but definitely over time though, I, I found it to be super helpful, even in the real game. So simple stuff just like this, like, you know, you have to like dribble it, get control of it, and then, you know, in a double jump pop, and then catch it again, like, there's all this stuff that you have to do, you know, that is, when you first try and do it, it's really hard, but, you know, once you get into it though, and you get good at it, like, it's a useful skill. You know, and it really works on your ball control a lot. See there, I'm throwing off an accident, not me too. Right, but that's the whole point, is that you, know, you gotta gain control of it before you can jump. That, I lag. Okay, that's ridiculous, all right. Let's do it again. Boom, boom, boom. I, I messed up, man. I don't know, man, I'm just recording uh, on the spot here, it's whatever. Okay, nice, good, okay, so assuming the game doesn't glitch a pillar behind me, which should be good. Be patient. Hold it. Like, there we go. Nice, nice. And this, this map got so easy after a certain point that I started to, like, make it harder for myself. So, yeah, normally, like, if you're supposed to do level normally anyways, like, you just do this, you jump over this one, catch it, and then you do all this, but that kind of just got kind of boring for me. So I ended up just, like, skipping a bunch of stuff and, like, going for longer air dribbles and all that, so that's just how I could do the level, but that's not how I do it anymore, because it's too easy. So now whenever I do levels, I'll, you know, I'll probably add a little spice to them, and just add that little layer of difficulty. So here, you know, instead of using those things, I'll, I'll just air dribble it to myself. And that time I didn't get a good catch, but, you know, I know I can do it though. Right, but it's just that adds, adds that little layer of difficulty and challenge, but it, it's fun, you know? So I find that, like, for most people, that doing the air dribble, not the air dribble challenge, sorry, I keep saying that, the, uh, the dribble to overhaul challenge, just doing it normally, it's already hard enough. But as I got a lot better at the game and, you know, started to find my style of what I like to do, you know, and as I got more comfortable with the map, then I started adding some harder mechanics in so that I could challenge myself. So here, I'm probably not gonna get this. Oh, it was close, close. But yeah, so I'll, I'll do this, I'll do this now instead instead of the normal way because this is just harder and I feel like it, you know, it teaches me more and requires more of me, so that's why I do it. Right, so I mean that catch is way harder than if I did normally. I'm trying to get this, come on. Wait, that looks good. No, I'm too fast, too fast. Okay. Yeah. But really just learning to like slow down the ball and control it, you know, it's really important. Especially right here, there we go. So the, the slower my approach is, the, the better setup I'm going to get, you know? So if I don't rush it, like I'm kind of doing right now, and I really take my time with it, then I can do this. One more time. So I mean, even though like it's harder and it's going to make me take longer to beat the level, I don't really care because I know that it's helping me uh, get better at the game, you know? So I will, I will happily do this over and over and over again, as many times as I feel like it because, uh, well, I find it fun. And yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna catch this. Okay, no, I can't. That's a good pop. That's a really good pop. There we go. Come on. Yes, there we go. Nice. So a little bit harder, but honestly, good good practice. Nice. These walls, these are kinda easy. There's not really even much I could do to like make this more difficult. Like I can jump every few seconds like to make it more difficult, but even then that's still pretty easy for me because I do have a lot of practice with my catches. So maybe do that, double jump, jump again, jump again, jump again, you know, just a little variety. There we go, nice. All right, keep going, a little ramp. This ramp can be kind of difficult, especially the first time we did it because, you know, in, in the real game, there's no ramps that really like kind of act like this. So when you see this in a map like this, it can kind of throw you off. Okay, that was good. Some humps, nice. Okay, wait. Take my time here. Ah, uh, now see. So I mean, still work on your ball control, you know. And the weird angles, like you might think that they're unrealistic, and they kind of are, but they do help a lot, you know. Like just, it just helps with gain, give you understanding like where your car is relative in space to the ball, you know. Even if it's a weird angle. Okay, I kind of fudged that one, but we'll take it. So this one, this is another one that I will probably make harder than, than it needs to be. Like, you're supposed to just kind of dribble around. 
them like this, you know, using the past, and I just, you know, that's a good way to do it, but again, because I'm more advanced, I'll make it a bit more difficult for myself, so normally, again, I would do this, but whenever I do it by myself, I'll just like, you know, I'll just kind of like double jump pop it and drill it to myself, see if I can get across, because I know I, know I can do it, I know I, I have the air dribble skills to be able to, to go that far, you know, so that's why I'll make it a little bit more difficult, ooh, almost, almost. Okay, that, that wasn't like perfect, but I'll take it for a musty. Nice. All right, level 24. Level 24 is a little bit devious, you know, a little bit tricky because, you know, the triangles, they move quite a lot. Oh, I'm doing a level skip. Oh, no, I almost had it. But yeah, so they're kind of devious. Like you just, you think you have them and then they come back and swing at you and then the catch off guard, but definitely not an impossible level here. Nice, nice. Ooh, I gotta slow down. Oh, I actually almost had it. Yeah, this one's pretty hard though. You, know, you gotta go quick, go slow, go quick, go slow. Like, it just kind of depends. You know, but you can time it. You can time how you wanna approach the angles or the triangles, my bad. So here, I'm gonna slow down a bit. Nice stuff. Okay, I'm gonna slow down here again, go to the right. Sorry, I had to pause the game there for a second. Oh, no. But no, I'll just do the level normally. Let's do a cheeky dribble here. Nice, good, good control. There we go. I'm gonna wait for the triangle here. Good. Okay, one more. There we go, I beat it. Oh, there we go. All right, level 25. This one's a lot harder. It's like level 22 or 23, but you gotta go a little bit longer, a little bit farther. But if you're really controlled, you definitely stake your way through this S right here. So I mean, most of this, like, as long as you don't rush it, you'll get through it just fine, you know? as I beam it into the post, that's crazy. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna beam in the post that time. What? All right, there we, there we go. I literally hit the post two times. That's how bad I am, but anyways. Here we go. This one's really good if you're trying to work on your dribble pops, because dribble, dribble pops and catches anyways, because you have to dribble and pop and catch the ball a few times. So do it once, do it twice, Ooh, there we go. I think I did it one more time to get this level. Doo, 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 doo. Looks good, looks good, nice. A little flick. Always always, always put a flick in there at the end. Because I always like to practice my flicks when I can. Ooh, okay, nice. All right, so that first one, you gotta get through the, the red pretty quickly. Okay, this one, this one I have to go really fast because I went late. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed. Yeah, that red thing is behind me right now. I gotta go quick. No. Go around this one, double jump. Good, good. All right, beat that pillar, that's good. All right, if I go quick enough here, I'll probably be able to get on time with the red over there. There we go. Good dribble, good dribble. See, this is, this is all just dribble control. Like steering, gas, and like boost, and then good enough. There we go. Do a cheeky flick at the end. Hopefully I don't mess it up. There we go. Nice. Alright, level 28. Level 20 is pretty fun because you can kind of finish it however you want to. So you can either, you can either Z-weave Z, Z or you know, bottom weave on the sides like this or you can uh, pop it up like like this and go over the, uh, the gaps here. So just for this example, we'll we'll do one bob and weave. So go around the one red, and then bob and weave to the next sign, and then I'll see if I can pop out a nice grand air dribble here. That was a good pop. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Flick it in. Flick it in. Flick it in. Nice, dude. Let's go. All right, level 29. Again, some more ramps that you have to get around. 
ramps they have to go up with the ball. Here you gotta catch the ball while it's falling, which is pretty hard. Nice, good control. Gotta run that one, good, good, good. Ooh, wait, I almost went too fast. Go back in, go back in, go back in. Please, yes, catch, catch. Uh oh, I gotta slow down, slow down, slow down. Yes, good, good, good. Go around it, there we go. Good stuff. All right, level 30 is my favorite one. This one, level 30 is also really good if you're trying to work on your pops and catches because, well, as you can see here, you're going to do that quite a lot. So like that, so yeah, so you have to do that quite a few times. I think you have to jump over, I think four barriers before you can finish the game or the level, my bad. One more barrier coming up. Nice little, oh, no, I messed up. But yeah, so the, for this level, though, you're, you're gonna just be double jump, popping over a bunch of barriers, and then catching the ball, and then regaining control, and then doing it again. Like that, there you go. Okay, this one, oh no. Almost done with the level here. Nice. One more barrier I gotta go through. And I hope I can get the catch and turn. Good. And then turn. Alright, works for me. Nice. Alright, you guys, that'll be about it for today's video. I just figured showing myself playing one of the most classic dribble challenges of all time. Just talking about my history with it and like why I like it so much. You know, I thought that'd be fun. But yeah, you guys should definitely get dribble two overall a try if you're able to. I know some of you on console, you know, that's something that you're not able to do but if you are on pc and you can download it you should you guys should definitely try out Dribble 2 overhaul and honestly just spend like 20 or 10 minutes on it every day like it, it could it'll help you get good at the game and it'll really help you hone down with your dribbling skills but anyways that'll be about it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one bye